The 14th MET is to increase medial and lateral rotation of the hip. So in this technique, we're going to bring the leg to 90-90 position, it's called. And that is, we're going to flex the hip to 90 degrees. If possible in a degenerated hip, sometimes it's difficult for your patients even to come up to 90 degrees. In this case, we'll assume it can. And then we're going to bring the knee to 90 degrees. And this is uh, in called neutral position because if I'm going to pull the foot laterally, the head of the femur is internally rotating, so it's turning in. If I push the leg medially this way, the head of the femur is turning out, so that's called external rotation. So this is neutral. And in a degenerated hip, there's going to be typically a loss of this motion, medial rotation. This is the first motion to be lost. And this technique is a very powerful treatment, very effective treatment for degeneration of the hip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to pull out, and Julianne's going to resist me. See, I'm cueing her foot. I'm stabilizing the knee. Julianne, you resist me exactly like that. And then relax. Now, Julianne, you let me do this motion. See, what I'm trying to do is this. I'm trying to do it toward me. This is trying to increase medial rotation. We're not thinking now so much about the medial or lateral rotator muscles. We're thinking about hip motion itself. So let's do it again. So I'm going to pull out toward me. Julianne, you resist exactly like that. So now what we're doing is we're tightening all the muscles, which tightens the capsule around the joint, and then relax. And now this relaxation increases the extensibility of the capsule as we lengthen it now. Now we're lengthening the capsule. And again, Julianne, resist and relax. And we do it again. And you'll see for many of your patients, you're only able to get just a couple of degrees here. But even that can dramatically improve the function of the hip. Let's do it again. So this way and relax. Again, increasing medial rotation. After you've done that several times, then a little passive mobilization internally and externally rotating the hip. Now we're sweeping the lubrication, the synovial fluid, which we generated from this contract relax technique. Because as we're having Julianne resist and she's contracting, what's happening is the capsule is winding around the joint and then unwinding. We're winding it and unwinding it. As we do that, we're stimulating the inner lining of the synovial membrane, which is, has these little microvilli, these little hair, and we're stimulating those, and that's bringing lubrication into the joint. For a lot of my patients, I say, oh, you're a degenerated hip. For example, some, they only have a few degrees left. A normal hip has 80 degrees of motion. So it has about, see I'm going to do Julianne, has this, she has about 35 degrees, this is normal, about here. This is internal rotation, back to zero, and most hips have about this, this is normal, 45 degrees, 90 would be out here, so this is 45 of external. And you'll see in a lot of your degenerated hips, they only have maybe a few degrees, sometimes maybe 10 or 20 percent of that. So our intention here is to increase the range of motion. So I just showed you internal or medial rotation. Now we're going to do external. So now I'm going to be pushing out this way. I'm stabilizing here. Julianne, you resist me. So hold. I'm pushing at her foot and ankle. And then relax. And then I turn more into external rotation. Now this isn't as common in degenerated hips as medial. I'm going to, again, I'm going to push. So I'm pushing this way. Julianne is resisting and relax, and then increase external rotation. And then at the end, again, you sweep back and forth. Now I'm sweeping that lubrication. It's like oiling up a hinge that's rusty. My patients really get that image. And now we're sweeping the inside of the hip with that synovium that we've been secreting because of this winding and unwinding of the joint capsule.